Reshade is a very interesting program that is primarily devoted to doing one thing and doing it well. It allows you to resize, um, either enlarge or reduce and or even crop um, your images while maintaining complete control over the image quality and getting the results that you want without destroying or degrading the picture. Um, I've got a picture here of a bird and the picture on the right is the original and the picture on the left is what we're um, is going to be an approximation of what our results are going to be when we start tweaking. Now this is originally a 461 by 345 pixel image and what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to re um, enlarge it to 800 by 600. All right, now this is an approximation of, of that and I'm going to center a little bit more on the eye and the beak and I'm going to start doing a little bit of tweaking. I'm going to um, denoise to remove um, well, resulting image noise that might result from enlarging. And I'm just going to tweak that up a little bit. And I'm going to reduce artifacts, which is little things, little wild pixels and whatnot that don't belong there. I'm going to reduce those so that they're not as obvious. I'm not going to go all the way with this thing because that would probably destroy the results. Um, as far as the texture is concerned, this actually has uh, something to do with edges. And I can sharpen, basically, some of the edges so that I can preserve such things, for example, as the ruffles and the feathers, you know, and, and the outlines and the edges and details in the eye and the beak. And if I want to go over here to the advanced, I can increase the um, quality at which, the quality setting at which the um, image will be saved. And I'm going to go ahead and set it to maximum, why not? Uh, processing fidelity, I'm not exactly sure what that does but it just sounds to me like if I increase the fidelity, all right, it might even improve the image. And here we go. And as far as smoothing the gradients are concerned, um, if I the higher I go with smoothing the gradients, the less edge clarity I'll get. So I'm actually going to reduce the um, gradient smoothness just a tad there. All right, and all of these things will take effect when I save the image, so I'm going to go ahead and save it now. And the original is bird, so I'm going to call this bird A, simply because I don't want to overwrite the original. And I'm going to save it in JPEG format, original format, and click Save. Now is when it goes through the processing. It's going to go through all the, there, <laughs> it's done just like that. And if I go down here to the folder where I saved it, and let me refresh it just so they, okay. Here's the original bird photo. That's the original. And here's the enlargement we just made. There we go. Uh, look at the clarity and look at the, the, um, the fidelity of this image. I mean, everything is just totally well preserved. All the edges, the feathers stand out, the colors are absolutely accurate. You can see the the uh, detail in the cropping, in the crop, and, and everything. It's just, it's absolutely excellent enlargement. And it just took a couple of minutes. Now there's a couple other things you can do with it, and I'll show you another one in a second. Let me pause while I reload some pictures. Okay, what I've got here is a picture of a rather interesting looking oak tree. In fact, it's a, it's a tree um, that's located uh, not too far away from me here in a, outside of a, a winery called Twisted Oak Winery. And this is a 1024 by 768 picture and I'm actually going to want to reduce that to 800 by 600. And I'm going to want to crop it. I want to crop it down to just the tree and the bench. So the first thing I'm going to do is enable the cropping tool. And I'm going to drag the little knobbies in so that I get the tree. And bring this up. There. Now I've 
got just the tree. Just the tree and the bench. There we go. All right. The tree and the bench. And I'm going to want to resize this cropped version to 800 by 600. I'm going to bring it down from 1024 by 768 to 800 by 600, which is actually reducing the size of the overall picture, but increasing the size of the cropped version. And there it all is. Okay. Now, this doesn't really require too much tweaking. Although we probably lost some fidelity and some, you know, some accuracy, some sharpness. So let's tweak just a little bit. I'm going to denoise just a tad. And I'm going to reduce artifacts. I'm not going to play too much with the edges, but I'm going to, I'm going to increase the edge definition just a little. Okay, about there. And I'm going to go over to Advanced, and I'm going to set, oh, it's already set on Maximum, all right. Um, I'm going to increase the processing fidelity just a little bit, maybe up to about 74, 75. Okay, we've got our edges pretty well defined. And I'm going to reduce the gradient smoothness. Right, because I don't want to overemphasize the edges. All right, now let's see what we came out with. Let's give it a save. And this is oak, so I'm going to save it as oak A. And save it, and it'll go through the processing mode. Sometimes you actually see the progress bar, and other times it just moves very quickly along. And if we go to the folder, and let me refresh, and there is Oak. There's the original. That's the uh, 1024 by 768 image. And here's what we cropped and enlarged. There we go. We've got a very well-defined picture of that Oak tree standing by itself. And you can tweak. Um, to varying degrees. In fact, you can over-tweak or under-tweak. Depending on the quality of your original, you might not need to tweak much at all. Um, but if you're working with a, with a, perhaps a very small profile picture, for example, here's a very small picture. This is a uh, 276 by 184 picture of a uh, bucket of gold by the river. And I've already done some tweaking on it, and even at its original size, you can see that there's some improvement in the sharpness. And as we increase the size, let's go up to uh, 800 by 600. We've got some pretty good results. We've maintained uh, a lot of sharpness, and we've well-defined the gold and the edges and um, the texture of the bucket. We could go even higher. We could go to 1024 by 768. And the improvements are um, consistent uh, from size to size. We'll go to 1280 by 960. And I could keep on going, but you can see the type of results you can get once you have uh, kind of mastered the various little settings that, that are here. All right, This is one very, very excellent program that does one job and does it well. I highly recommend it. I think you should take a look at it. There is a free trial version available, a 30-day trial, and it's worth looking into. And I think you're going to be happy with it. Until next time, this is Steve signing off, and thank you for watching.